Alright, what's up guys? This is Spooky, and this is match number 3 of our Return to Ravnica draft here on Magic Online. And uh, yes, I'm going to choose to play first since I won the die roll. This hand seems fine. Do I want to mulligan this? No, I don't really want to. We got a turn 2 play, a uh, turn 3 play technically. And our opponents mulled to 5 cards, so that's also good for us. You know I'm not going to pay a life on the Steam Vents. Anyway, uh, last match was interesting. Definitely misplayed. Although I'm not sure if it would have mattered. Maybe it would have. Usually, I like to think that misplays matter. But that's how it happens. Until you're the world champion, you can't misplay. Even when you are the world champion, there are so many misplays that happen. So this guy's a 2-2. Two -two. Can I give it first strike somehow or something? No, I cannot. So I should just move on with life. I can't cast this yet, but I can cast a Sneer Squad, and that guy seems good here, so let's do that. All right. And now we wait. Can't really attack into his uh, his uh, Swindler, or whatever it's called. Pilfered Plans. So he's drawing cards. We did see a lot of those Pilfered Plans around. If you recall, there's a guild gate. So we can guild gate play. Oh, yeah, this is a good turn for us. Pay a white. That guy's tapped. And we get to play out basically a bunch of our hands. So we'll play this guild gate and then we'll play the sprite. There you go. Next turn, we can play the griffin and have massive raid up for the following turns. That seems pretty good to me. See, just wrote Denison. Do we want to do anything about that? I mean, it is stopping our assault. Let's play this mana. So we could tap that down, attack with our two guys. Uh, he can block. He takes two. Then I can still play this and have massive rate up next turn. He'd be at 15. Versus if I massive raid now, he takes two, three, four, five. I could still make all my guys bigger. That costs three mana. That's pretty expensive. I could just fly in for two and not bother with all this other crap. Yeah, I think I'll do that. So let's fly in for two. get some free damage in and uh, then let's play this griffin and now we wait okay his plays are not looking very good so uh, we're gonna sit on what we have let's play another red and let's keep flying in I guess for now pay a blue he gets bigger Pay a bunch of mana, our guys get better. Is he gonna respond? Nope, guess not. Okay. Now he's gonna respond. Far and away. So he returns that and I gotta sack something. Uh What's the worst guy here? Damn, far and away, that was pretty good there. Sack the sprite. Okay, so he really sent me back a turn there. That was a good play on our opponent's part. I would have sent back the sprite. I think that was a better play. I guess he was afraid I would get rid of the Snare Squad instead. Maybe I should have gotten rid of the Snare Squad. It does kind of gum up his board though. Void Welder. Damn. Okay. Snare Squad goes back. And now he can attack. And I take 4. I go to 16. That sucks. Womp womp. Of 
gleam of battle. That might be good. Okay. So next turn we can play gleam. Attack with our flyer. Make it bigger. We could attack with all our guys and make them bigger technically. Let's see what he's about. Oh my god, that's a big flying scavenge guy. Holy shit. That guy's humongous, but we have this. So let's play it. Red, white, one, two, three, four. We have four eight mana. Damn. And we have a massive raid. That seems pretty good. So he's attacking back with his flyer. No surprise because our outclass is his. Now what? Ash sell it. Three three ash sell it with first strike. Yeah, this this is my time. Alright, he concedes. Cool. So, uh, Gleam of Battle really uh, hooked it up for us. Cool card. Damn. Great finisher. Anyway, so uh, we didn't really see much of his deck except for a lot of blue-black nonsense. Sacrifice effects and crap like that. So I think the seller of Songbird is going to be a little better than the Deputy. We don't really want to be returning guys to our hand. We want to just be playing extra guys that are annoying for them. So, uh, yeah, I'll just make that one little change. Not going to change much else. Uh, Night Watch, too expensive versus this guy, I think. And there you go. So, game two coming up, guys. Stick around.